Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add a contact form to your Squarespace website in 2023. Having a contact form is essential for engaging with your website's visitors, enabling them to get in touch with you easily. Whether you're a business owner, blogger, or a blogger or creative personal, this simple uh, additional can enhance your user experience and increase communication with your audience. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into it, and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial step with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to the URL section and of course you will have to access the Square uh, Space website. So go to the URL section and simply type squarespace.com and hit the enter button. That should take you to the home screen or main screen of Squarespace. If you don't know much about this website, you can always scroll down, read more information about it as you can see. And if you have an account, you can simply go and log in into it. If you don't have an account, you can always go and click on getting started to create a new account for yourself. For me, I'm just going to access my dashboard here. And for you, of course, you will have in the editor, you'll have to access any editor that you want. So as an example, I just go to this website and why not so once we are on this website of course we'll have to navigate into or in the editor you will have to go and locate the pages tab as you can see if we go to this list panel we'll find the pages here at the top option and click on it to view your website pages so as you can see here we have four pages so now we'll have to go and add a new page so click on add the page as you can see it's going to be uh, this plus button Click and add the page uh, to create, of course, a new page where you will place your contact form. You can choose a blank page or use a pre-designed template with contact form. So as you can see, we have here blank page, page layout, scheduling, blog, and a lot of other stuff. You can even go for more folder link, what you want. For me, I'm just going to I'm going with a blank page here as an example. And of course, I'm going to name it as we said, contact, contact. So hit the enter button and as you can see here is it so you can put it just put this at the bottom and as you can see at the moment it's an empty page so now we'll have uh, on this new page we'll have to go we'll just double click on here so we'll be able to add things on it here of course we'll be able to add sections first of all because without sections we will not be able to do anything as you can see we even have some templates that we'll be able to add, to add it into this page if we go here down below, let's search if they have a template for contacts form. So we have audio charts, forms. Let's just go for this form. As you can see, we have already like forms that is created by templates in Squarespace that we can use. Of course, you can even add other things if you want. So let's just go with this first one. Why not? So as you can see, this form has the first name, last name, email, subjects, message, then simply click on submit. If we click on it, uh, as you can see, or double click on it, so we'll be able to change the content of it, as you can see. So the form name, the new form. So simply you'll have able, or you'll be able to change uh, the form name, as you can see. So the name of it is new form. I'm just going to name it like contact. Uh, the button uh, text, is it submit or like, I'm just going to type send. Here, you can edit the form fields as an example. So click on it, so you'll be able to change the name. So the name, I'm just going to put the test as example. Description, I'm just going to let tester here as an example. And of course, is it required or no? Make sure to enable this option or delete this, or you can even delete this option if you don't want it. Of course, if you, uh, made, oh, sorry, I deleted the whole thing by mistake. So here, I'll just double click on it. As we said, it edits whatever you want. So you can edit the name, email, subjects. As you can see, you'll be able to edit anything that you want and make sure uh, if things are required if thing is something is required make sure to enable this option of required if it's not just don't uh, as an example the subjects we can just let it uh, not required which is gonna be just optional you can even add more fields as you can see so we will be able to add more fields like name email text area checkbox survey line date time hidden twitter currency number website address radio drop down phone and text Whatever field you want to add more, you'll be able to add this here. So as an example, survey. So as you can see on our survey, so label survey, just, uh, I'm just going to name it questions. Why not? You can add some descriptions, answer those 
questions uh, before hitting send as simple as that so on options as you can see we have option one option two and you can even add more options so option one as an example i'm just going to put test test one uh, test two and test three of course for you make sure to add your questions then simply as you can see is it required or not i'm just going to enable it as required because so people will not be able to hit the submit or send button and as you can see we can simply uh, go and add more fields as we said so checkbox a lot a lot of things that we see from here other than that of course as you can see post submit once people submit they will receive this image this message which is thank you of course you can change this message to a redirect and you can simply enter the url section of or where you want people to be redirected when they click on submit button as an example so maybe to your blog maybe to something so simply paste the link of whatever you want people to be sent into once they submit this and even you can even list this as a message so thank you or you can even even add your html uh, message or code as a message so as you can see html to be rendered in additional to the post submit message after that we can edit the design of it so as you can see the button alignments we can make it in the middle on the right on the left on middle light box as you can see if enable it as you can see it will make maybe some difference for you so just go and even you can even edit the section if you want the background of the section colors of the section formats of the section so at the moment let's just double click on that again on the design of course you can even give it a background you can change the background color if you want to and as you can see let's just do this oh that's no <laughs> that's not what i want so maybe something like that you can even make it lighter if you want to you can even go and do some custom color if you want to as an example make something like that and in the storage as you can see here the email notification where people will where where you will receive this emails or this contact form you will receive it on this email you can even add some additional storage if you want to and we have here the google recapture you can enable it or disable it depending on whatever suits you and here you are you have your contact form so once you customize the contact form however you want here you are you have it all you need to do now is simply uh test your contact form so make sure to go uh, go to your website and test this contact form it's working see if you will receive things on this email and that's gonna be it so if you reached this point of this video congratulations you've successfully added a contact form to your squarespace website and making it easier for visitors to reach out to you of course this simple yet powerful tool can enhance your website's functionality and improve uh, communication with your audience and if you found this uh, tutorial uh, helpful please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more website building tips and tricks so thank you for watching and best of luck with your squarespace website and uh, i'll see you in the next video